So what we're going to do now is we're going to take our website and we want to add this header image to it. Uh, we're using the Radiant template that comes with Shopify when you first install it. Um, what we're going to go and do is we're going to add a new div to the top of this document and then we're going to set the background of that div to be the image that we have here. So the first step that I want to do is I want to get all my assets together and I do that by saving this image. I'm going to view background image and I'm going to save it to my desktop where I can easily get to it. Then we are going to go over to our admin side and we are going to upload it so it's available for us when we need to pull it in our CSS style sheet. So grab that's it. There we go. Upload the header. Now what we need to do is we need to go and look at the elements that create up this page. I use a program called Firebug, which is great because it lets you inspect all the elements and see what's going on with all of the site. Um, if we look here, we can see we've got this HTML5 tag header with an ID of top that's basically taking up the area that we want to put the image. Now, I don't want to mess with any of that stuff. I'm actually going to add a new div for the time being just above it just for the sake of this demo so that I can get the positioning the way I want it. So what I want to do is in order to make that change is go into my template editor, which I'm here, it's under themes and then template editor. And I'm actually going to modify the theme liquid template, which is under layout and layouts and it's the top one. So if we go in here, we've got a bunch of code that make up the website, a bunch of liquid tags and that sort of thing. But what we want to do is we want to scroll down until we find that div header that we had on this page over here. And we are going to plug in a new div above it, and we are going to call it with an ID of um, header image for the time being, so we can identify it properly. And we're going to close that tag. Once that's saved, we can go back over to our document over here and refresh it and we'll see that we have a new div that's been added. Now it doesn't do anything yet because we haven't actually given it any properties in the style sheet. So I'm gonna go over the style sheet and we're gonna grab the style sheet. Now typically I like to add all of my styles right to the bottom. Um, I do this because it's easier to find them later on. These style sheets that come from the templates are usually quite in depth and a lot of the time you're searching around for hours just to trying to find the right line number. But if you put everything at the bottom, whatever you write will overwrite whatever was in the template file. So you don't have to make you have to make less modifications to it. So we're going to use a pound because it's an ID and it was called header image. And we're going to start off by giving it a background. So the background we use URL and that item that we uploaded and I believe it was called team whistler. Sorry, team whistler underscore header dot jpeg. We can index it directly because it's in the assets, which is another great thing about Shopify. You don't have to know your relative path. Then what we need to do is we need to give it a width and a height. So I'm going to go over here and I'm going to view the image info. Uh, let's see, view image info. And it's going to tell me that this image is 960 by 389. So when I go over to my style sheet, I can give it a width of 960 pixels, a height of 369 pixels, and I'm going to close that off. Save her up and we can fire on over to the other page and we should, if everything worked out properly, have, uh, let's see, I possibly spelt it wrong. Let's go back over here. Let's go to team, oh, it's an underscore, it's not a dash. So we'll save that, back over. And we have our header image. It's not the exact right size right now. I'm gonna have to modify the template slightly to allow that. But for the most part of it, we have our new image.